שיר השירים אשר לשלמה. Oh, that you would kiss me with the kisses of your mouth. Draw me after you, let us make haste. The king has brought me into his chambers. I am dark, but I am beautiful. You have ravished my heart, my sister, my bride. You have ravished my heart with the glance of your eyes. How much better is your love than wine, and the fragrance of your oils than any spice? Your lips distill nectar, my bride. Honey and milk are under your tongue. The scent of your garments is like the scent of Lebanon. A garden locked is my sister, my bride. A garden locked, a fountain sealed. A garden fountain, a well of living water and flowing streams from Lebanon. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. He pastures his flock among the lilies. As an apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved, and his fruit was sweet to taste. Refresh me with apples, for I am sick with love. Under the apple tree I awakened you. There your mother was in travail with you. There she who bore you was in travail. Set me as a seal upon your heart, for love is as strong as death. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a flame of Yahweh himself. John of the Cross Entrado sea la esposa en el ameno huerto deseado, y a su sabor reposa el cuello reclinado sobre los dulces brazos del amado. Claire of Assisi, draw me after you, heavenly spouse. We shall run in the fragrance of your perfumes. I shall run and not grow weary until you bring me into the wine cellar, until your left hand is under my head and your right arm blissfully embraces me and you kiss me with the most blissful kisses of your mouth. John of the Cross, in the inner wine cellar I drank of my beloved. The bride has entered the sweet garden of her desire, and she rests in the light, laying her neck on the gentle arms of her beloved. Hildegard of Bingen, O Viridissima Virga, O most greening branch, hail, hail because the heat of the sun exudes from you like the perfumes of balm. The beautiful flower came forth from you, which gave all aridness their aromas. Then the skies rained down dew on the fields, and all the earth rejoiced, because the warmth of the sun exudes from you, like the perfumes of balm. The beautiful flower blossomed from you, then, O oh, sweet virgin, you know only pure joy. The birds in the windy air build their nests in your hair. Eve turned her back on all of this, but now let there be praise to the highest. John of the Cross. Beneath the apple tree, there I took you for my own. There I offered you my hand and restored you. Teresa of Avila. It pleased the Lord that I should see an angel, very beautiful, his face so aflame. In his hands I saw a long golden spear, and at the end of the iron tip I seemed to see a point of fire. With this he seemed to pierce my heart several times, so that it penetrated to my womb. When he drew the spear out, I thought he was drawing my womb out with it, and he left me completely afire, with great love. The pain was so sharp that it made me utter several moans, and so excessive was the sweetness caused me by this intense pain that one can never wish to lose it, nor will one's soul be content with anything less. Love comes with a knife, not some shy question and not with fears for its reputation. Think of the spider web, woven across the cave where Muhammad slept. There are love stories and there is obliteration in love. I have no more words, but the soul speak with a silent articulation of a face. Did you hear that winter's over? The basil and the carnations cannot control their laughter. The trees reach out their congratulations. 
the soul goes dancing through the king's doorway. Lilacs blush because they have seen the rose naked. New creatures whirl in from non-existence. Galaxies scatter around their feet. Have you met them? A feast is set. Listen, the wind is flowing wine. Love used to hide inside images, no more. Nothing can stay bound or be imprisoned. You say, end this poem here and wait for what's next? I will. Poems are rough notations for the music we are. Radha to Krishna. Krishna, come quickly to meet me. Death is better for me than living in my vacant body. Why do I endure love's devouring flame? Krishna to Radha. Leave lotus footprints on my bed of tender shoots, Radha. Let my place be plundered by your tender feet. I stroke your foot with my lotus hand. You have come far. Set your golden anklet on my bed like the sun. Consent to my love. Let elixir flow from your face to end our separateness. Radha to Krishna. My Lord, your hand is cooler than sand balm on my breast. Paint a leaf design with dear must here on love's vessel. Lover, draw paint glossier than a swarm of black bees on my eyes. Kiss away the lamp black bow that shoots arrows of love. My ears reflect the restless gleam of doe eyes, graceful lord. Hang earrings to form snares for love. Make a mark with liquid deer musk on my moonlit brow. Make a moon shadow, Krishna. Fix flowers in shining hair loosened by love play. Paint a leaf on my breasts. Lay a girdle on my hips. Twine my heavy braid with flowers. Samsara and Nirvana are the timbre and the drum. Mind and breath are the flute and the cymbal. The sound of the kettle drum rises in the sky. Birth is consumed and the highest dharma is dori. Day and night pass in love play. In the troop of yoginis, night becomes dawn. Yogis find delight in the embrace of the dombi and do not leave her for a moment, being drunk with simultaneously arisen bliss. In the sky above the sky, there is an overgrown garden. There is a spade of the heart, when at the neck the delightful girl awakens, it is unearthed. Abandon, oh, abandon your old mother. In love play, the Savara has taken the beautiful maid. My overgrown garden yields the cotton of the sky, for now the white cotton flower has blossomed. By the side of the overgrown garden, the maze garden appears. Darkness dissolves. Sky blossoms forth. The Savara and the Savari drink deep. Every day the Savara perceives nothing, being giddy with love play. In ten directions, the Savara obtains nirvana. At midnight, the lotus is in full bloom, lit by the rays of the Vajra. The 32 yogis delight their limbs in the place of great bliss. The moon is driven to the Vajra summit. The jewel speaks of simultaneously arisen bliss. The moon drifts to the light of Nirvana. The lotus is carried to the lotus pool. Bliss of cessation is purified at the moment called without things. Whoever understands this is a Buddha. <laughs> 